Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Omar Hussein Mary Jane, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching us about the uses of food stock, also known as period. So, a food stock is denoted by dirt. A food stock is used to mark the end of a sentence. For instance, this is my house. We put full stop to show that that's the end of the sentence. Other uses of full stop include to mark the end of a statement which makes complete sense by itself. Example, yes, put a full stop. It can also be used to indicate an abbreviation. For instance, e dot g dot, which means example. So we use a full stop to indicate an abbreviation. Also, when you use a full stop, it's always followed by a capital letter. Example, his name is John, full stop. The next letter will be in capital letter. He lives in Canada. When you are using a full stop, do not leave a space after the last word of the sentence before putting your period. For instance, my name is Mary. Leave a space before putting dots, that will be incorrect. My name is Mary, full stop, so that's correct. Leave a space after the period before starting another sentence. Example, his name is John, period. It lives in Canada. So you leave a space before you start the next sentence. But do not leave a space after the last word of the sentence before you put the period. Also, you use a period for an indirect question. For instance, he asked if he could come. That's an indirect question, but for a direct question like, can I come? You will use a question mark, but if it's an indirect question, you use a period to complete the sentence. If a sentence ends with an abbreviation, do not follow it with another period. Example, I woke up at 6 a.m. Notice that there is already a period at the end of the abbreviation, so there is no need for you to add another period to it. Just like the second sentence we have, I woke up at 6 a.m. And then you add period again, that will be incorrect. So once there is already uh, a period marking an abbreviation at the end of a sentence, no need for you to add another period to it. Put the period outside the quotation mark if you are using the British English or put it before the quotation mark for American English. Example, John said, I want some food. So if it is British English, after the quotation, put the, you put your full stop. If you are using the American English, just John said, I want some food before the quotation mark. Put your period. So uh, we have an exercise here. Just uh, go through it and try to identify which of the uh, sentences is correct and which one is incorrect. Thank you very much for watching. Kindly subscribe and also share with your friends. See you in my next video.